This is Brian Savard for NBHawks.com. I'm here with New Paltz head men's basketball coach Mike Graniak. Uh, you guys play the Lakers of Oswego in the quarterfinal round of the SUNYAC tournament tomorrow at 7 o'clock in Oswego. Uh, you're in your first year as a head coach uh, and you qualify for the SUNYAC tournament, which is certainly no easy task. Uh, what did it take to get to this point? Well, we overcame a lot of adversity and I think my team just stuck to our ma mantra of getting better each and every day. And uh, we kept grinding at it, we kept breaking things down, and we got better each and every day. Uh, the outcomes might not have been there, um, but the team really kind of gelled cohesively, and uh, we kept getting uh, uh, better and, and sort of channeling our efforts that much more focused. Now, you've coached in a number of postseason tournament games before, including a number of NCAA tournament contests while serving as an assistant at Amherst. Uh, knowing playoff basketball as you do, what will it take to advance? Well, it just basically, you know, you're going to have to give your best effort. Anything short, you, you end up uh, going home and, and you're packing your bags. So we just got to come out and play our best uh, Hawk Nation basketball that we can. Now, Oswego has had the upper hand in the series this past decade, uh, as the Lakers have won 17 straight games, including two this season. How do you motivate everyone to erase the slate and challenge Oswego as though they are just another team? I mean, I think, I think you said it right there. My team realizes uh, the history that Oswego has had uh, over New Paltz. And, and they want to be the team that ends the streak. You know, that's, a, that's motivation enough in, in and of itself. And the fact that Oswego State went unbeaten in the regular season, it'd be, it'd be great to end that streak on their home court. Now, what will it take to beat Oswego on its home floor? And how do you neutralize their three-point threats? Well, I think, I think basically... You know, we've got to make them make tough shots. Uh, for the second time we played them, they shot 13 to 20 from three, and the majority of those were open looks. So we got to get out on shooters and make them make tough shots. And uh, if we can do that and, and we're winning the 50-50 balls and, and we're, 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 we're containing them on the glass, I, I like our chances. Now, how will past playoff experience from your upper class and playing to preparing for this matchup? I think overall from a mental aspect, uh, they, they look at it as, as, as another game, um, but the butterflies aren't there. You know, they're really excited to play as we go on their home court, and uh, they're, they're mentally prepared, and, and I, I think we're going to see some great efforts from my seniors and, and from uh, all the players that uh, played in the playoffs before. Great. Well, the Hawks play the Lakers on Tuesday, February 21st at 7 p.m. at Max Zeal's Gymnasium in Oswego. Coach, good luck. Thank you.